right, we are back in action. So, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and as you can see, today is a Christmassy day. Um, I have a new background for today and tomorrow. We can celebrate some Christmassy type stuff, uh, or whatever holiday you want to celebrate. That's up to you. Today, um, instead of just rambling on about Spider, because that's what I've been doing, and that's what I've been spending all my energy on for the tournament, um, I figured I would just kind of do a video about all the things that I do to live with myself doing this the way I'm doing it. So for those that are new to the channel or new to this series, basically what we are doing here is we have been playing this game for now, today would be 158 days, um, and we have only been using Mystery Shards. So... And the reason, I mean, I've, I've said this in many videos before, but I'm going to say it for this one, just so that, you know, people who are new can kind of catch up and see what I've been doing. So basically, I got tired of the game because I was, I, I was playing this game probably about two years ago, and I got sick and tired of getting bad pulls, never getting legendary heroes. I think in my entire time playing this game, I have gotten, I think, two legendary heroes from pulls. All right, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was kind of all over the place. It was it made it it made it bad because I liked the game. That was the funny part. Like I liked playing the game. I liked the hero designs. I liked actually beating things. But the problem was is that I couldn't beat stuff. I mean, I think on my first few accounts, I had a bunch of um, epics, and there was one account where I had ninja and I had two other legendaries. I had uh, the, the got the fusion lizard here. This guy right here. I actually pulled him right here. This guy R Razin Razin. Razen Flavin, uh, I had him and I had the pig, Borag, or whatever his name was, some pig guy that I got. And I was just having so much trouble in this game. It was just making my life miserable. So I kind of stopped playing. And I did that on and off because I remembered that I really liked the game and I wanted to come back to it all the time. So I was like, why do I keep wanting to come back to this? But it, I know I'm going to get stuck again. And I think I was in like maybe getting into Brutal. Like I wasn't able to get into Nightmare. Um, I wasn't three-starring anything. Um, I think at, at best I might have had two level 60 heroes and none of them were geared well. Like it was just because I didn't understand the game. I didn't understand what the heck I was doing. So I said, damn it. And I would quit. So I came back this time and I'm like, you know what? We're going to try something new. I'm like, I've been playing the game on and off here and there. And I know which heroes are you know good in the beginning. I know how to get stuff. I know how to, how to gear my heroes. I know how to do all this stuff. I'm like, why don't we just try maxing? regular heroes like let's just max them like just the heroes that i get and we're gonna go like we're gonna move through the game like that and that is what i decided to do so we now only use mystery shards so i am only capable of summoning rare heroes that's it i cannot get anything epic or legendary from summoning that is out of the question so this is literally what i have compiled over the last 158 days to get this kind of started now i can use any hero that is from the login rewards okay so we can go in here so i can use all of these heroes so i do have them all now um you know high, high Katoon, yaga dark athol dark elhane lordly legionary anyone you can use i will i will be getting still anyone that everybody in the game gets i want to be able to play this game with only the heroes that every person that plays the game can get um and so far it has been successful we have been doing a lot and we've gotten through it. Like, we've been playing for 158 days. I'll kind of give an overview of what we've accomplished in that time. Um, and then we'll kind of go through the heroes I've used and found and things that we want to look forward to in the future, uh, not just for where we are now. And that's basically what this video is about, how to live your life the way I'm living it. And the best part is, is you don't have to play like this. It's just to show you that you can still complete challenges in this game and... You can summon the heroes that you, you know, summon all your blue heroes. I mean, all your ancient shards. And it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. What heroes you get, what heroes you don't have, which legendaries you don't have. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you can, if you just want to have fun in a game, this is the video for you. You can see how to get through it all. So, what have we accomplished in 158 days of playing this game? One, we're about to hit level 70, as you can see. So, we are pretty, we're very progressive here um, as far as how fast we level up. Uh... I think average around the time that we're at right now, I mean, there's some accounts that are only like between 50 and 60, maybe a little bit higher. Um, most accounts don't hit level 70 in the time that I have. That's because I use a lot of my gems 
on energy and just constantly grinding out uh, campaign. So I think I leveled up a lot quicker than your average player. So that's one thing you can do is to make sure that you level up every day, you use every energy. Anytime you go to bed, you should have zero energy. And when you wake up, you can use whatever energy until the next time you play. Um, and that's it. I mean, I did put, I put a lot of time in this game, just to be clear. Like, I spent a lot of time playing it. Um, unless it's like a campaign thing, I'll just put it on auto like the spider. I put it on auto and I walked away from it. So I haven't really played today, technically. I did my dailies and that was it. Um, so you want to waste your energy every time, all right? You want to pull as many shards as you can every day until you're full and then level them up. That's another thing that I've been doing, all right? Uh, and I know a lot of this is going to sound dumb, but it's like this is literally like this is the the bare bones. You need to be able to you need to be able to focus on leveling your heroes because that's the number one problem that a lot of people have in this game is they just don't level their heroes to sixty. I mean, I've seen plenty of accounts where they just have, you know, a, just a ton of level fifties, and then they're wondering why they can't progress and beat content. Um, I personally, within one fifty eight hundred fifty eight days, have eighteen level sixties. Okay, all of them have a purpose. All of them are doing are, are specifically for things that I'm supposed to be doing, um, and they are all they're all useful. That's the whole point of this. So really, you want to make sure that you can have heroes that you can use. So the first ones in the in the mix, you know how to play free to play. Basically, you want to pick Kale. This dude is basically your your campaign farmer slash clan boss killer slash he's the all rounder. He's gonna do whatever you want him to do. Kale is the man, the myth. He's everything. All right. Um, the next one you want to get is War Maiden, obviously. Uh, she is amazing. She has defense down. She uh, She's great at helping you out when you need a force champion in the beginning of the game because they're kind of slim pickings. Uh, so she's definitely a big one. That, and these are, this, this is a farmable hero. Um, Spirit Host, we leveled her up to 60 very quickly. She's an amazing champion. She saved me numerous times in numerous dungeons. Uh, her healing skill is insane. Like when you, get to her, when you give her some attack, she just wrecks everything, and she'll kill Deliana by herself. Amazing hero. I don't care what anyone else tells me. I will never get rid of her. She is honestly probably my favorite hero in the game. Um, and that's not even just because she looks cool. Like She is kind of banging looking, right? I'm not even talking about like sexy. I'm just saying she looks cool. Uh, here we go. Valerie. She is also another level 60 you can get uh, right in the beginning of the game. You can farm her from the first area of the campaign. Great shielder. Great protector. Um she has an attack up. She also helps with uh, extending buffs and debuffs and all that stuff. Um, Apothecary, you can't farm, but you can pull him from any shard. And he is probably, arguably, one of the best healers in the game outside of, like, you know, crazy legendaries that can revive your whole team and get you up to full health in three seconds. Like, outside of that, Apothecary is basically the best healer in the game. And if you pull him in the beginning of the game, you win. Um, so honorable mentions that are uncommons. Zephyr. Zephyr. You're not going to use hers too much in the beginning of the game. As you get towards mid, though, Zephyr, amazing. So you're going to want to build her. Um, these are heroes I would say just put – the next three heroes, I would say just put them in your in your vault. Save as many copies as you can until their skills are maxed. And then once they're maxed, just level them up to maybe 30 or 40 and leave them in your vault until they become relevant. Uh, Outrider, also. Him you could build early. Uh, if you're having trouble with pulls, this is one hero you could technically build early. I kept him in my vault for a while because I just happened to pull better heroes. And I already knew the teams I wanted, but easily could wreck Brutal by himself if you put him in Lifesteal. So he's also a good hero that can help you out. And he's uh, Spirit Affinity, so he'll go. He'll basically be good for the levels that you can't beat with Kale. So if you can't find someone, he's the one. Uh, Armager, same thing as Zephyr. Get him as much as you can. Get his skills built up and then just put him in your vault for a little while until he becomes relevant again. Uh, you can build him as fast as you want, but I wouldn't build him. I mean, he was my, I literally, he's the last one I built. So this is literally the last hero I just built at day 158. So don't go crazy with that. Uh, the other heroes that you're going to get, Dark Aethel. So far, I haven't really used her except for now farming Spider 10 uh, for this for this uh, event because she has a lot of AoEs. And I actually did just get a new amulet for her. I was actually missing an amulet, and she didn't have her gear set up. She's one of the last uh, uh, epics that I built. But she'll be basically up in arms and ready to go pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to try and get this all leveled up for the new event that's coming out. So she'll be ready to go, and then we'll be getting her masteries done. She is not mastered. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely someone you could build. Uh, Jizzo, everybody gets within two weeks. Awesome hero. Uh, great for the arena. Great for not dying. I mean, he's saved me a bunch of times as well. He's kind of like the epic version of uh, Spirit Host is basically what she, what he is. So anybody who tells you he's a crap hero or like, let's look at his reviews. What is he? Yeah, he's got great reviews.
reviews except for Spider's Den. Whoever put these reviews up is smart. <laughs> um, when you're talking about endgame people that, like, you know, they just talk about legendaries and had, oh, you can beat, you can one-shot Bommel. Like, yeah, not not with this guy, you can't. Uh, so you can't one-shot Bommel unless you have that one legendary. This is not that guy. This guy's awesome. Uh, he has a counterattack. He has a heal. He he stays alive. He throws some defense on him, and this dude will wreck almost anyone. Uh, Dark Alhain, amazing for the arena, amazing for uh, the Ice Golem. She's definitely one of my favorite heroes now. I just got to get her a little bit stronger but and get her awakening, but she'll she's amazing, and I love her to death. Uh, Grave Chill and Frozen Banshee, these two are heroes that will just destroy clan boss. So if you're starting out in the game and you pull either one of these, consider it a clan boss win. They have insane poisons. All that is great. Coffin Smasher is awesome for HP burn. He's good for stuff in Doom Tower. Um, I don't use him that much outside. Literally, that's main, his main purpose at this point, just because I don't have... There's a couple of uh, orcs, I think, that have HP burn and a few other heroes that have HP burn. He's the only one I have that has it right now. So he's the winner. And he's in high accessory gear. So, I mean, high, yeah, accuracy gear so that he can do stuff in Doom Tower. He looks like Jason. You like him. Um, Soulbound Boyer, another one. Really great. Uh, great for campaign farming. Great for uh, Spider. Great for a bunch of stuff that is, you know, that is against the affinity with Force Affinity. So you can use her in anything that you need to kill Force Affinity. She's great in Life Steal so far. I probably won't be changing her out. You could put her in Stun. And that way she can stun waves and do things like that. But we're about to get Sill, so there's really no reason to do that unless you're early game and you just happen to have stun gear. But that's only if you're farming for it, and I don't think it's not in the dungeon that you're probably going to be farming early game. Uh, Crimson Slayer, for some reason, I used to pull her all the time, and I never thought she would be good. Like I was like, she looks cool, she's kind of badass, but I, I would build her to like level 40 and then kind of walk away from her. Uh, I am so glad that I built this girl. She is helpful in my spider team now. She is helpful in Fire Knight. Like, literally, she's, like, the, one of the main reasons I beat those dungeons. So I would not sleep on Crimson Slayer at this point. Uh, awesome hero. Very good. Very good skills. If she had better cooldowns, she would probably be one of my number one heroes. Uh, and Broadmaw, is a, he is a, uh, he's a fusion. He, so far, isn't really very helpful to me. I mean, I wish I, wish I could say he was, but... I'm thinking because he. All right, here's the problem with him. He doesn't heal, so uh, I think what we're gonna do in, with him is we're, we we might put him in some regen gear, so he's kind of like he'll be he'll kind of be like uh, Armager, where he can just slowly regenerate his HP, and that way he doesn't die and he'll just constantly revive. So we're just gonna basically take all of his crit damage away, all of his attack, like everything away, and I'm gonna turn this guy into a giant tank that can heal himself back up. So I want to basically skyrocket his HP and get him out of what he's in and we want him to have high speed right now he's around he's really high speed right now but that's basically what we want to do with him and i feel like he's going to end up becoming one of my favorite heroes once i build him the way i want him because i never had a purpose for him i just knew he could revive and he had some good skills so that's where he is and then we've got odachi my favorite uh little shadowkin guy he's awesome he has a lot of really good skills once we build him up he's got the uh hp destroy built into his kit we added to it by putting hp destroy gear on him and this dude rocks now what this is for new players is that this is the problem that most people have in this game. They will spend all their time doing this. This is what everybody's vault, not vault, but like their their champion vault, like this vault. This is what most people's vaults look like when I look at them online and they're like just starting out and they're saying they can't beat things. All right, this is what they're this is what it looks like. It's like, "Oh, I have all these level 50s and because it's it's really hard to get a level 60." And you're right. In the beginning of this game, it feels like it feels painful. I mean, like painful to get a hero to 60 because you don't have, you're not getting extra experience really because you're, you're probably farming in like normal, um, in normal 12 or hard 12 in the beginning of the game. And if you didn't do the lifesteal trick with Kale, you're probably just hanging around in normal trying to level. So this is the first thing that is for new players. Like you can't do this. This is not how you should be building your team. This is how you should be building your team. Literally one person at a time, the main heroes, Kale, um, Valerie, Spirit Host, War Maiden, the farmable heroes. This is one of the biggest mistakes that people will make. If you are building a ton of heroes to level 50 and you're excited about it, do not be. <laughs> you are playing wrong. Having Kale, just Kale, like literally take everybody else out of this. If you only built Kale to 60, your account is now probably 200 times better than whoever than the person that has this account with all these level 50s 
All right. That's how important a level 60 is and how much more power you get on a hero just by getting all their equipment on them and being able to level it all to 16 and just maxing one hero out. Because once, once your Kale looks like mine, you can literally beat through Brutal, like literally normal, hard, brutal, all by yourself with just Kale. You don't even need anyone else. And you'll three-star it every time. Literally every time. I can bring him into any level in any campaign right now by himself, and he will beat it. And that's why it's important to get one hero to 60. Um, Spirit Host, War Maiden, and like Valerie, those heroes can sit at 40 in the beginning. It's fine. Like It's not like it, it doesn't hurt you to leave them there. It's obviously better to level them up, but I w it doesn't hurt you to keep them at 40. Um, until you uh, start getting you know, more heroes in your roster and you start figuring out what you need and then slowly get these guys up to 50 and then up to 60. Uh, I would say Warbane. I think Warbane was my second level 60. Kale was my first. Spirit Host was my sec my third, I think. Uh, maybe even Apothecary. I honestly don't remember the order from them. I just know they were all first. <laughs> that, was, that was the main thing. They had to be first. Um, and then I moved into the other heroes as I slowly pulled them. Um, Epics, I honestly didn't start using, I don't think, for at least two or three months, to be honest. Like, I had Jizzo in my... I didn't pull... Jizzo was my first Epic that I got, and I got him... I didn't use him until we started doing Scarab King and Doom Tower. So, that's how we built... That's how you play free-to-play. Level to 60, and that's it. Straight 60. Um, other things is when you're doing your... When you're leveling up heroes in campaign, the main thing to focus on... In the beginning, we're talking about like closer to the beginning, maybe even even now, even like even where I am in this game, I could do I could listen to my own advice right now. Um, in the beginning, you're going to start here. All right. Not necessarily brutal, just whatever you're on. If you're on normal, hard, whatever. And you're literally going to farm this all day. And you're just going to put your two stars. You're going to put three two stars in here, run it until they're max level, pull them out, put three one stars in here, level them up, max them out. Do it again with three one stars, max them out, and then you level all the one stars to two star, and then you use those to level your two stars to three stars, and then you start again. And that's it. And you keep doing that till you have all three stars in your account, I mean, in your vault, and then you start throwing all your three stars in here, and then you level them up to four star, and you just keep doing that with everything. And that's how you're going to get all your heroes built up fast. Now, the thing that I did in the beginning, which I know a lot of people have trouble farming heroes because you literally have, I think, like to get this hero, it's like a 0.5% chance or something. It's some crazy number. I don't think it's that low. That was just being uh, a little exaggerated. But the chances of you getting this hero while running it, especially in normal and hard, is close to freaking nothing. So what does that mean? It means that you should be farming them literally right from the beginning. All right? If you're able to farm this on 12.3, you shouldn't be over here, honestly. You should probably be farming in 9. This is like the first major area to farm. Uh, in the beginning of the game, though, you can literally just level up your heroes in Durham Forest to get Spirit Host. And you only need one. Like, that's the thing. You only need one to get by. You don't need 60, 70, 80 of them until later on. So once you get into Brutal, you can start farming them up to max their skills instead of wasting your time in Normal and Hard, wasting all your energy um, and not even getting anything for it. So you don't do that. So, like, for me, I should be farming Vladimir Straight right now. Because I need to get him maxed out on skills. I have him. I think I have. I think I've only gotten one extra copy of Templar so far. So, I mean, you could be farming this for days, which is why the best way to do it is to just literally farm these areas while you're leveling heroes. Like, don't just go in here and be like, okay, I got to farm this until I get the hero. Like, no, no, no. Don't think that way. You'll stress yourself out and get all pissed off. Literally, you're like, okay, I got to level up all these heroes. I'm just gonna go in there and not pay attention to what heroes I pull or get. And I'm just going to level these heroes up. If you level up, if you spend like a day or two just doing that, you'll get the hero. I mean, it's going to drop eventually. I mean, I can't even tell you how many copies of uh, Diabolist and what's her, what's her face? And this dude, Hell's Pound Spawn. I can't even tell you how many copies I've gotten of them uh, just from farming 12 to 3 at this point. I mean, I have what, 8? Was it 10 you need? So I have 10, in my, 10 of each of, those, of these guys. So that's 20 in my... Um, what is that called? The uh, not the same, right? Yeah, they are demon spawn. Sorry, so I have ten. My bad. I have ten of her in my guardian ring, um, and then sorry, guardian whatever faction guardians. There we go. And then I've probably pulled him at least like honestly fifty to hundred times minimum. So it does happen if you spend enough time there. And since this is where I spend most of my time, just in the beginning, just do it here. I did it for all these. I did it here. I leveled up on stage three, and I have him now. 
I got him like 30 times. I have a max skills and I have my faction guardians max. So I've been slowly working my way backwards on brutal so that I can level my heroes faster. That's why I, w I didn't start from the beginning. If you want to start from the beginning, that's fine. Like while you're lower level and you don't get as you know, it's a little easier to farm over here. You can do that and work your way this way. So that way, as you move, as you progress, you're kind of like, yeah, you know, you feel like you're maybe moving forward instead of backward. For me, though, I don't care because I summoned so many heroes from leveling over here that I've pulled a couple of extra heroes. Like I've pulled um, from the first area. I have pulled him from random shards probably three or four times now. And I got him once from just running it for beating a campaign boss. And Valerie, I have four as of right this moment, plus her skills are max. So we've definitely got a lot of her. So don't don't beat yourself up over. Just stick to one level until it's done like just finish one out finish your heroes and then move forward but this is for like once you even beat brutal i mean the first week is you're not even going to be thinking about oh where do I, where am i going to get all these heroes from like no just you're going to probably get a bunch of them from summoning and from other stuff Ooh, let's get out of here so that's that's what you should be doing and focusing on the other things you should be focusing on in the beginning to mid game i mean this is just kind of how i play you need to be doing these every day if you're not doing your quests every day you're not going to get to anywhere close to where I am in the time that I've gotten to where I am. Like, it's just not going to happen. Uh, you get so much from doing these quests. I mean, here you get gems. Here you get you get these every five days, but sorry, six days. So you get like five of these a month, basically. You get these EXP boosts, which you need to keep yourself going. You get, uh, what is it, energy refills in here. You get all kinds of stuff, money. You get, I don't know, brews, like all kinds of stuff. Same thing with monthly. You get void shards you get these if you're skipping let's just say you skip one you know one every other day on dailies you're like oh, i'll just log in tomorrow if that's the way you're playing this is going to take you 60 days to get one of these shards so you're going to be nowhere close to where i am so if you're not logging in every day at least to do your dailies it's going to take you a lot longer i'm not saying you're not going to enjoy the game i'm just saying it's not going to you're not going to feel like you're really moving up fast because you're not going to be able to get everything that I have at this moment in time. Um, I don't even have a lot. That's the funny part. I have a lot for what I'm doing. <laughs> I have a lot for never pulling anything. Uh, so that's great. The other thing is gems. Mm -mm -mm. When you guys get gems in the beginning of the game, your first 800 gems go to Kale. You're going to get his masteries maxed. That's that's a they, that's like the only thing I could say. I've seen a couple people that like, We'll start new characters and use all their gems to summon because they think that summoning heroes, for some reason, is better than um, getting Kale to max level and all his masteries, which is 100% not true. Not even close to true. Um, having your masteries on Kale will make him just destroy everything, especially if you're going to use him for campaign farming. Um, right now, this is not the setup for campaign farming. If you're going campaign farmer, you want to do, I think it's, yeah, increase speed by for every enemy killed. So that way, because he's killing everything. He's your campaign farmer. So he'll get faster and move faster. Um, you need the first hit. Yeah, so damage increased by 8% for the first hit because he's always going to be faster. Um, decrease school down. Uh, if skill exceeds. Yeah, so this one I think you've put on because then you get, um, it decreases your cooldown. So you can use his, his main hit a couple more times. And then I think that was it. There was there might have been one more in here. Increased damage inflicted for his debuff. No, there might have been one in here. Ah, the arena. I think I had the arena one just because you're supposed to have it in the beginning because that way you can uh, use him as an all-rounder. If you want, you can always go back to one of my older videos in the beginning in the tutorials. It'll show you how to master him out for campaign farming and basically being your, you know, your beginning Kale. So that'll be good. And... There we go. So yeah, you want to make sure that you get all and all gems go to him. Now, the route that I took, it, it's not necessarily the best route. It's not necessarily the worst route. I mean, it got me where I am, and that's what I care about. So I spent all of my gems in the beginning of the game on masteries. So I mean, you get probably about three to four thousand gems. Uh, if I had to guess, within the first, I don't know, I want to say month two, you get a lot really quick. Let's put it that way. Um, and that's just because you're doing if you're doing quests, if you're doing all your missions in your quests, because that'll get you all your all of your masteries for him. It'll get you all your masteries for spirit host. It'll get you all your masteries for war maiden and it'll get you all your masteries for whoever your healer is, either him or Diabolist, I guess, depending on who you decide to get or who you pull. Um, and then Valerie, 
was the first one that I farmed. So basically I spent 800 times four, right? So that's 3,200, 3,200 gems on masteries. Very important. And then from that point forward, I basically farmed them. I did purchase, I think I purchased him and I may have purchased, I may have purchased her. I think I purchased her too, but this was like, we're talking like a couple months later. I mean, I just got her maybe it was it like last month. So yeah, literally a month ago, cause I just got Lord Legionary. Um, so I bought all of her masteries and I bought all of his masteries. And that's really because these heroes were kind of key to pushing my my group forward in quests. And I had a ton of, of gems kind of just sitting around. Other than that, the only thing I use gems for outside of them is energy. And I think, and I bought like an energy, I mean, sorry, an EXP boost once. And that was literally like, oh, this week for the event that's going on. Normally I wouldn't do that. Um, and even unless it was like, if it wasn't Christmas event, I probably wouldn't have even bought it, to be honest. Uh, I just know there was a lot of rewards to get. And I'm not even talking about the fusion itself. Like, there was a lot of rewards going on, so I spent it. Otherwise, save your gems. Um, and then, I think, what was it, maybe two months ago, I think, I unlocked this. Because this is 1,500 gems. So you want to get this unlocked once you start getting into the mid-game. Um, and the reason is, is that this is a long-term investment. This is not like, oh, I, if I buy it today in the beginning, you know, it'll get me my masteries faster. I mean, it really won't, to be honest. Uh, if, it'll slow you down because you're only getting, if you unlock one level, you're getting five a day. Like, it's nothing. Uh, if you get it to max, you're getting 15 a day. So that's 1,500 gems, all right? So 10, 10 days will get you 150 gems, all right? That means 100 days will get you your money back. So it would take you over three months to get the gems back, to get the two heroes back to um, their masteries max. So not not a good time investment in the beginning. All right, so if you use the gems in the beginning to get your characters leveled and get your masteries, you can beat more quests and the quests give you, I mean, look at this. I mean, this is just where I'm at. I mean, there's a bunch of sections in this game where you're gonna get hundreds of gems. I mean, there's places you get 50, 100, 50, 100 in these areas back here. You get 300 here. Uh, there's tons of gems in here. There's some places you'll get 200 gems. Like gems are not important in the beginning except to get masteries. That's the only thing they should be used for. Um, and then you'll just eventually start getting them. I mean, look at this. I have 2,000 gems. I don't even know what to use them for right now, to be honest. Well, I do know what to use them for, but I'm, I, can, I can save them and it won't matter. So gems should only be for masteries in the beginning. That's my best opinion for it. Um, and then eventually, like, like this is what I'm going to be spending them on. I'm eventually going to unlock this probably after the year ends. Uh, we'll see where I'm at and how many gems I have. I kind of don't want to drop below 1,000. So I may just unlock maybe two and then wait. <laughs> I'm like I'm like weird. Like I, I like to hoard. Uh, so that's what gems are for. Don't go crazy using them in the shop. I know this. I know that. Oh, nice. We get a free one. Um, you know, I know that this looks very tempting. And this is how I began my my journey in every single um, in every single time that I restarted the game. This is what I bought with my first 900 gems every single time. I was like, oh, I'm going to get this and I'm going to get a chance to get 10 more heroes or 11 more heroes, or whatever the hell the number is. I don't know if you get an extra one. I think it's just uh, it might be 10. I don't know. I'm not buying it either way. Um, but this is what I would spend my gems on, and it was the worst investment ever. One, because if the, if these 10 become a shit pull, and guess what? They are going to be a shit pull because unless you're super lucky, it's your first time ever pulling. You'll be lucky if you get one epic, maybe two from these shards. There obviously are exceptions. I'm sure you know. there's always that one person that's like, well, I pulled you know, this one. It's like, I don't care. You're, you're literally the only one that, that really happens to. Uh, if you watch you know, one of the other guys streamer, was it Darth Microtransaction? He pulled a Harvest Jack on his, in, within two hours. Like that's the kind of stuff that's, it's abnormal. It doesn't happen. It's, you're literally like one out of a million people that that happens to. Um, he got lucky and it happened on stream, thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's not, that's not gonna happen to you. You're probably gonna pull a, um, a chopper and that's it. You're not going to get much. So don't spend it on things that are based on luck. Uh, unless you really like gambling and you just don't care. In which case, you know, spend your gems however you like. Um, the other thing is the Great Hall. This, I would probably say you don't really need to do what I did here. You should probably be spending more of your time on this side. Um, I did this specifically because most of the heroes that I personally use are all uh, magic affinity. And I wanted to boost their attack 
just because. Um, I had already started leveling it. I wasn't going to stop because that would have taken forever to get to where I am now. Um, your first level 10 in here, if I had to say anything about this that would help you, um, just make sure you stick to one. That's literally the only thing. The only time I think I think I had to level two things to four for a quest, if I remember correctly, which is why this is leveled. But otherwise, just pick one. It, it, honestly, whichever one you have the most heroes of, just pick the one that you have the most heroes of and just level it. And that's it. There's there's really nothing to do here. Because once you get these this to level 10, you're pretty much in the clear. Like Unless you're trying to go for Ramatu, which if you're going for Ramatu, you probably have a ton of legendaries in your really, really late game. So it's probably not going to affect most people. But just literally, just get one to level 10. That's all you need to do. Because it's it's part of the quests. After that, who gives a crap? Like You can literally just level everything to two, everything to three, everything to four. Like This doesn't affect me in any way. Especially because I'm doing Another thing for new players is this, is Faction Guardians. Like, this is something that I've been doing for my rares. And because I don't have the constraint of having to worry about epics and legendaries, then look at this. I get 10% HP, 10% attack, 10% defense, 3 speed. Like, this is all for all of my heroes in this faction. This is something that gets overlooked in the beginning of the game. Um, I didn't really start filling it in until kind of maybe like a month or two. Like, I slowly was filling it in, but I didn't, like, try like now I'm actually throwing heroes in here every time. I don't use them for skill books anymore um, until I get the ones that are farmable. I fill up like that. So this is this will eventually just be all Valerie's and these heroes will just get put in as skill books for their other hero. Um, and eventually they will look just like this. So it'll be just like that. Just the ones that you can farm. And this will get you a ton of stats that you weren't able to get in the beginning. And this will help you out tremendously. It's helped me out a lot too. Um, if you are pulling epics and legendaries, that's you know that's great and all, but one, it's going to clog up your. That's the other thing. I don't have I don't have a lot of like vault issues. I know a lot of people are like oh I have like 400 heroes and you know your vault's overloaded and you, you're going to end up spending probably a ton of gems and a ton of silver just getting it so that you can hold 200 300 heroes, which. It's a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot. It's a lot of space. So, especially in the early game, if you're wasting all those resources on trying to build up your vault, you're not getting much out of it. Here, with the with the rares and stuff, yeah, I get tons of I get tons from this. Like this is great, and I don't have to worry about you know, oh, do I have extra space for these guys? So definitely, I would say faction guardians. And if you're asking me which one is the first one you should do, the first one you should do is the first one you get heroes for. That's it. And I mean, unless you're gonna sit there and farm for your main hero like dark elves like this is this has been like this forever for me like this extra these extra stats don't make the game easier that's a lie <laughs> i'm not going to say it doesn't make it easier it does make it easier but it's not necessary to get to to nightmare all right once you're in nightmare yeah this stuff gets a little more helpful but to get to nightmare you don't even need this like just getting through brutal is a, is a joke if you level kale 60 so yeah this is definitely good make sure you're doing this and just pick the one that you want the most and then just put them in here as you go. That's it. I mean, I already have, what, one, two, three, maxed, four, five, Lizard Man's done, six, Revan, seven, Demon Spawn. So I have seven of these maxed already. And I honestly don't, and it's not like I'm pushing these. Like, I'm not, like, focused on it. I was focused on it in the beginning because I was already farming the heroes to get these. But, like, yeah, this is just over time. This is going to end up being full. And you'll have all these extra stats for all your, you know, all your heroes. I mean, I even have Sylvan Watchers. I have two of them here. There you go. So I actually got, I got accessories for one of those today. I was very excited. I saw it pop up and I'm like, what the hell is that? I've never seen that symbol. And I was like, oh yeah, there's a new faction. I forgot. That's how important it was. <laughs> um, other things. Market. This unlock till I think, you want to unlock, I believe I unlocked up to here. Like eight. Eight spaces? Yeah, eight spaces I unlocked. So two, I think you start with four, so I unlocked four more. That's okay to use gems after you get the first hero, Kale, his masteries. Use gems to get unlock these. Why? Because you're going to see that the ancient shards are going to pop up in here, and it also gives you more chances to get mystery shards like this. Boom, there we go. Um, and then I don't think I touched this again for like three months. And then after I think three months or so, maybe two, maybe like at the end of the two, I don't know. Um, it was somewhere between two and three months. I unlocked this slot. And then I think a little bit later on, like probably maybe a week or two after that, I unlock the last slot. So don't think you have to unlock every single thing in the shop the first day. However, you are going to get tempted. Because <laughs> what's going to happen is, is wherever you are, 
that's where the ancient shard is going to pop up. So if you have eight unlocked right here, it's going to pop up here. Now, I'm not 100% sure how it works. I don't think I've ever lost one because of it, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's a rotation that you can get a certain amount every month. So if you miss one, I don't think you lose it. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm pretty sure that it'll it'll come back again. So don't think that because you have you know it's there you have to get it. It's up to you. They do drop from dungeons. It's rare. So I wouldn't beat yourself up over it and try speeding towards the end of this shop. Uh, but yeah, eventually you're gonna want to unlock it to get the to get the uh, extra shards. So that's important. Forge. This is a big one. Swift parry is an amazing set. Um, you're gonna want to be able to save up all of these as much as possible for these two. All right, I don't think you do you need them. Yeah, you don't need them for anything else. So really just for these. Now, both are good. I have honestly never put a deflection set on any hero. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying I personally have not yet. I think I just recently got a full set that I can put on someone. Uh, I was missing a couple pieces, so it kind of just went to the wayside. But then I got to the point where I wasn't using four-star gear. So I sold it, and now I started rebuilding it up again. Uh, same with this. Like, Swift Parry, I think I have two sets that I have. I think I have another I think I have another set that I have that I can put on someone else also. Uh, but this is a great set, especially with the chance of unkillable. I'm not gonna say it saved me a hundred times, but it's definitely saved me once or twice. It's good for certain heroes uh, that die a lot. Uh, it's good for War Maiden. She's really good in this set if you have a good set for her. because um, I remember that was the best War Maiden I think I ever had until I have this one that I have now because Obviously, I, I level to 60, but in my older account, like this, this was amazing on War Maiden, especially because she's so squishy. So it gives you a chance to at least, you know, not die right in the first freaking round. So great, great set for people. Uh, I, I think some people might have put that on. What's his name? Uh, Death Knight, just because that way, you know, he can jerk you around a little bit longer and get his unkillable and make you even more angry um deflection okay and then everything else in here just level whatever you got so in the beginning of the game you're just going to spend all your resources on three and four that's it and just literally go in here and click as many as you can get and keep them and level them and that's it once you start getting to the point where you're having trouble with three and four star or you've been collecting more four and five star gear and you're not really using three star anymore yeah you're going to start moving into here with faction wars and Eventually, you'll be where I am, where, you know, you're really kind of just looking for this. Um, but what you should do is once you get to where I'm at, there's this great little trick you do where you just go to this perception and you do this. Craft 10. You just click. Look at all this great gear, right? And you do this. Sell. 28,000. 8,000. <clears> My voice is going. 10,000. 10,000. You starting to notice what's going on here? 22,000. 10,000. All this money's. Look at that. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. I don't care what stat it is. Goodbye. There you go. I just went from, I think it was, what was it? 70,000 to 200,000 from that. Now, this is important. Like, and I wish I could say it wasn't important. It's super important that you are constantly doing this stuff. Now, I wouldn't blow through all your stuff like I just did. I was actually very much against what I just did. I was considering doing it, but I wanted to show it just because it's important. Um, you should be saving these up as much as possible. And then when you get like clan versus clan, that's why I don't have a lot right now. Um, clan versus clan, you just summon it all because you'll get a bunch of uh, silver and you'll get a bunch of points for clan versus clan. So this is a good area to do that. Uh, and because the forge is so important, so is faction wars. Um, if you're not doing faction wars every day, you have a problem because you won't be forging anything. Uh, you need to be able to beat these. And if you're not doing these every day and you should be farming your highest level that you can beat. Um, I break that rule all the time because I do not like stage five. I think it's stage five, right? Yeah, I think it's stage five because uh, there's an unkillable douchebag in there. So I don't farm five, and I think six I do farm. So I farm six, and I farm eight. I don't farm the boss level ever because it's annoying. So I never farm the boss level. And your goal in every single faction in the beginning 
is to just get a team of five. That's it. That's the whole team. Uh, you start with getting, you know, two or three. You want because if you have three heroes, you can get two stars. So in the beginning, you get three, and then eventually you just work on getting five heroes and working your way to beating stage seven. The goal here, really, like the for mid game, is to be able to farm wherever it's higher level six star. Um, not six star. Um, wherever it's higher level for your energy. So basically, see how this only costs four to do a. This is for what is that for? Yeah, two, one. This is for the super raids. This one costs four. You want to get to where it costs six, which I believe is ten, right here. Okay, you want to be able to farm ten, or you want to be able to farm six. Those are those are your goals. So if you're not farming ten, then yeah, eight or nine is okay. But you want to be farming 10 and you want to be farming 6 depending on your level. The reason is that that's the highest you get. It's the most points you get for clan versus clan. It's most um, pieces of gear you'll get. Most, oh, Sorry, not gear, but glyphs, things like that. That's the area you'll get it in. 10, same thing. This is where you're going to get the most stuff bang for your buck. If you're really good, then yeah, you move up to 13. All right, see how you can see right here. It tells you what's in there. So you want to be farming the best. All right. And if you're not farming the best because of time, it's going to happen. I mean, I've had days I completely forgot to do faction wars that's just how life works but if you're not doing it every day then you don't have this let's see i mean you're gonna get a bunch of good rewards too but it's gonna give you pieces for your for uh, doing your forge and inventory right that's what this means i know a lot of people skip over this look at this this is your glyphs as you can see i don't really have too much i mean i have enough I i've built up a decent you know reserve of one stars because that way I can literally just level up any gear with, you know, I mean, this 1% is not a lot, but when 1% is added to three or four stats per piece of gear, let's just say three per piece, it's three times nine, you're looking at 27% extra power on your hero. See what I mean? So don't, don't laugh at the one star. Like, oh, I only pull one star. Like, it, uh, who gives, a, who gives a shoot? Who cares? Just do it. Um, so that's important. Glyphs. You want to make sure that you upgrade every piece of gear that you get that is currently on your main team. That's 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 the best advice I could say. It doesn't matter if it's one point, one percent, or two points. Throw it on the gear. If you're using that hero every day, he should be glyphed. End of story. I don't care what gear you have on him. All right, especially the one star. Like you don't have to start using these. I'm not saying max this. Like oh look, I can do this. Like no, uh, don't do that. All right, just use the one star. Maybe and if you start getting a good you know, reservoir of two stars, then sure. Reservoir, reserve. I always want to say reservoir. I'm going to move very close to the mic and say that. Um, yeah, start using twos then. You know, I would only use ones on any hero that you're not using every day once you get to where I'm at, and then start using twos and threes for your better heroes. And then the heroes that you're really trying to push their power for something, then you can start using the fours. I use these a lot. I would say don't do what I did. I'm going to stop using these as of now, unless I get like the perfect piece of gear. Um, and even then I wouldn't recommend using it because there's a bunch of quests towards the end where you can basically, you have to use all these five stars to max out something and it's annoying. Uh, so you're going to need as basically you're going to need as many of these high end glyphs as you possibly can to beat that quest. So I, I would recommend not using them at all, period. Um, but that's just me. Uh, I use, like I said, maybe a couple, but I'm going to stop doing it now. So maybe for the first like month or two on your best hero, use the high-end ones. Um, let's see. Okay, so there we go. So newer players also. Um, Tavern, we don't have to really worry about that too much. Altar of Souls. This is, uh, this is an easy one. Um, you're going you're gonna to farm... You're going to farm the towers, the tower on stage one. I mean, I've gone over this before in a lot of my old videos. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Farm stage one every day, six keys, and then walk away from it. That's all you got to do. That's it. If you do that, you'll get all your heroes that are rare, at least, if you're using, if you're doing it my way. You'll get all your heroes maxed. I mean, not maxed. You'll with uh, an awakening. And that's all you need because it's new and you don't need it to beat anything. It's just, once again, it just makes it easier. Um, and then you come in here. And when you have enough of these coins, you buy one, you summon. And then when you get these coins, you go in here and you buy this. You don't buy this. You stay away from this. You buy this. And then you save those coins. And as you can see, I have 19 of them right now. Uh, and that's because I just spent seven of them on, who was it? Uh, what was her name? 
Oh my god, what is her name? Dark Aethel. I just got her um, blessing. So it was seven points, and that's it. I'm really looking. I was I was kind of against buying it. I was looking for Dark Elhane, to be honest, because uh, she's the one I use for my arena team, so I really wanted hers. So, of course, hers didn't freaking pop up. Uh, but, yeah, so you just come in here, and every day you get two chances. It's, you get two chances to get more heroes. You get it at reset, and you get it in the morning. So every day you come in here and look, and you can buy whatever you want. If you're doing like me, um, what is it? I think it's 12, 12 coins for a three-star rare. So if, like, Kale popped up, three-star I think I already got him. I don't, I don't remember if he's two or three. I think he's two. Um, you want to buy these. All right. And then basically you would just buy this one. All right. Look for the heroes that you like. Like, I would just buy the one star and not go crazy buying anyone that's not your main team. All right. Because you'll just end up pulling them. I mean, as you can see, I mean, I have a decent amount of heroes in here that I've pulled. This doesn't look like a lot because all my heroes that I got them for that I currently own are all awakened. So... You're going to be able, you're going to get a bunch of these, and eventually you're just going to start getting two, three, you know. So you won't really have to worry about saving the coins so much. Um, there's a lot of events going on too right now, so I was able to save up a ton, uh, which I mean, 19 is not a ton, but it's a ton for me because I usually have none. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I'll just, every time I get four more, I end up buying a new one. But once you get to the point where I am, where all of your main heroes are awakened, Say like one, two, awaken. She's the only one I'm missing. So awaken, 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 awaken. Look at this. All awaken, 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 awaken. You cannot awaken these guys. So that's tough luck. Awakened, awakened. So every single one of my main heroes is now has a blessing except for her. So basically we're just waiting for her to, and I'll buy hers in the shop if I don't pull it first. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, see, look, three star. I got a three star. These I've been buying are I actually, I pulled her. She was a random pull, three star. I had her at one in the beginning. Um, and if, if you sit, let's just say you have a one star version, you buy a one star version of this and then you pull a three star version, you could look at that. Like it's a negative thing. I would say you're out of your freaking mind, like getting a three star the, Im immediately the day after I put, I put a one star on it and bought it with coins would not, would not bother me at all. The fact that I got a three star would make me triple happy because that's three star is where it gets really good. I mean, look at this. At three star, you get a 40% chance of inflicting bonus damage. So you get an extra 20% chance and you'll have the attack. So technically level two is really where it's at because this really boosts your attack. I didn't I didn't really understand how much 300 attack is until I started getting my heroes to level 60. Like 300 attack is a game changer on some heroes. So you definitely want that. And then look, you get some extra stuff if you get lucky enough to pull a six star. Or you could be like me where you pull a six star awakening on a freaking hero you can't find. Isn't that great? Still waiting for you, Bog Walker. I'm still waiting for you. That little prick. Here, let's let's all let's all look in memorandum of Bog Walker. That this guy, seriously, he's a crap hero. Literally a crap hero. And 158 days, I haven't pulled him. I'm not gonna lie. If I ever pull him, I'm gonna make a whole video just on Bog Walker. I'm gonna just like probably just spend an entire day just building like everything for a week is gonna be stopped. I don't care what's going on. I don't care if there's an event where you get the best legendary ever just for running something like for a day. We're going to spend an entire week. It's going to be Bog Walker week. That's what it's going to be called because I really want to build him. He's actually not bad, by the way. He's like he has a 30 percent chance of placing a 50 percent decrease attack, which is OK on an A1. I'm OK with that. Uh, he places increased de uh, defense on all heroes. So that's always good. And he places reflect damage on all allies. Like, yeah. He's not great, but with a six-star awakening, I want to see what he does. I want to see how how this guy wrecks things. So, but yeah, that's all I ask. That's all I want for Christmas is Bog Walker. See, that'd be nice if if Polarium sent everybody a free um, a free rare summon. Like here, you can summon a, any rare you want. You just pick. That would be that would be the nicest Christmas gift ever. Um, it would definitely be Bogwalker. That's the funny part. Like, I don't care about the, any anyone else because he's the only one I have it for. Um, yeah, so, okay, we went through summoning. Uh, you don't want to really keep this many heroes. Um, you want to build up your, your uh, storage slowly. As you get into this point where you, like, have 94, I mean, we're at, like, 100, you'll see that it starts to get a little pricey. Um Depending on what you what where you're at, for me personally, the silver might be worth more than the the gems. 
uh, to me personally. So I would just use the gems to level it up once you get to like, not yet, like 100 is kind of whatever. Um, I did buy from 90 to 100 with gems because I needed it because I do a lot of leveling. So I was like, I had to. Um, but where is it in the shop? Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. Where are you? Promo. Am I missing something here? I am missing something here. It is this. That's why I'm in the wrong freaking thing. See, this is what happens. Your brain melts. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -da bank. All right. So, yeah. 140 gems gets you 300,000 silver. So, apparently, yeah, it's uh, a million silver is right here. Let's see. Basically, they value it at about 300 or 400 gems. So, yeah, I would just use 100 gems to level up. <laughs> I would much rather use 140 gems than use, uh, you know, my gems to buy back the silver that I messed up. Uh, but once you're getting to the point where you're like, like, I'm almost at the point where silver won't be as much of an option for me. I mean, a problem for me because there's not going to be as many heroes that I'm trying to level. Um, and I'm going to be picky about gear. So essentially any gear that I find is going to be sold off because 90% of it will probably be shit I can't use. So there's no reason to even use it. Um, so I'll end up being able to get my silver reserves up a lot higher now. Uh, I mean, just from playing the dungeon events today. I uh, I think I pulled out like two mil, and I used it all again because I'm trying to get ready for the champion. I mean, for the uh, gear upgrade thing, which I have. Where is it? Who did I put up? Who did I use? I have. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did him. Um, I think I started. Yeah, I got his to 15 here. Uh, I just added this to him because I got a bunch of new stuff, which is nice. So I'll be probably leveling these to 15. Uh, I really like this guy. I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, I forgot. This has nothing to do with being a new person. But it's very important. I uh, I maxed his skills. I was I was a bonehead and did it. I wanted to, and I'm not even I'm not even upset. I did it. I, I love this guy. I can't wait to get him, kind of raring and going. He's probably gonna be one of my next six stars. I have a feeling him and Haikatoon are gonna be one of my next six stars after I get Sil. So I'm not doing it before Sil though. So these guys are gonna be on the back burner at level 50. But I will max their gear, and that's it. Um, but yeah, he, I just wanted to make sure everyone knows that that I did I did it. Uh, all right, so we did Guardian Ring, talked about this. Um, like I said, this will be something we can do later on. I, don't, I wouldn't even worry about this until you're probably about five or six months in, and then you can start using this for passive once you have diamonds that are just sitting there. Uh, so we went over Great Hall, we went over this, we went over the mine, we went over the market, we went over Altar of Souls, Forge, Guardian Ring, Tavern. Other thing, Doom Tower. It can be daunting. Um when you first walk into this, you're probably going to be, what is it? I think it's level 40, right? 35, whatever the hell the, the level is. You're going to walk into this and you're going to see this 100, level 120, and you're going to fight them and get your ass whooped. Uh, however, if you have, I'm going to say just, let's just, let's just see. Hold on. Let's do, let's do a test. Can we test this out? Yeah, we can. Thank God. All right. So these are my three heroes that I said you should level first in Doom Tower. Now, if someone tells you that having five heroes level 50 is good, all right, and that's the best thing you could do, they're probably telling you the wrong thing. <laughs> all right, these three heroes by themselves can do the stuff that you want to be doing in Doom Tower. All right. Um... They're actually doing pretty good. Look at that. Not even not even uh, trying. So this is three heroes. Now, I would assume... I don't know if... I would. I think Kale would beat that by himself, to be honest. But three heroes can do this in the beginning. This is... We're talking about the beginning. Um, you're going to have five, though, obviously, because you're going to have your other heroes. So I wouldn't do this with three heroes. You know, I wouldn't try it starting like this. Uh, you're going to need more healers. And as long as Kale's level 60... More than likely, you can do that with just him, you know? And let's see. Let's try it. Let's let's try it. No, I didn't want to do that. Exit. I, I'm just curious how well he'll do in the beginning. End battle. Add a team. Let's just, we'll slowly work our way in. Let's just see how Kale does. It worked with three heroes. Let's see if Kale dies. I have a feeling he will, though, because 
this is a uh, high end stuff. And yeah, and they reduce his turn meter, so he's gonna be fucked. <laughs> All right, he got healed back up. I really thought he was gonna die there. He's gonna die though. He's not gonna make it. So this is just him by himself at level sixty. All right, and he got to the third round by himself. And there's heroes that can do this alone. I mean, the only reason he's he's not as defensed up as he should be. Um, all right, he's actually doing not bad now. How is he not dead yet? I'm actually surprised right now. I also don't even have him in campaign farm gear, so he's not gaining shields and stuff. All right, so there you go. Doom Tower, floor one, dead with one hero. Um, that went better than I thought. So, yeah, the point here is, is that one hero can help you in this game. Now, you're not going to run every floor in Doom Tower with one hero. You're, you'd be out of your freaking mind. But um, just know that these are daunting in the beginning. As long as you have a couple, one or two heroes that are you're slowly working towards 60, you should be able to at least start beating some of the, the bosses. And the bosses are actually easy in the beginning. Um, even like the hard ones are easy in the beginning. Uh, most of them you can just kind of push through if you have a full six, level 60 team, uh, especially if it's this team. You can literally just burst through them, and they don't because their mechanics don't really come into play. The only ones that are, that are weird are Scarab. Because you have to have specific heroes, otherwise you're going to get wrecked. Um, Griffin is, is a joke. Uh, Dark Fae is a little weird. If you have the wrong heroes in here, it could go poorly. So she's a little tough in the beginning. Um, and Bobble doesn't become hard until the second round. So once you get to him the second time, he'll start getting hard. Uh, Griffin's easy the second round. And she's basically, if you can beat her on the first time, you can beat her the second time, basically. Uh, I never had a problem with her. I'll probably start having problems with her once I get to her in the third area. But yeah, until you get up to around here, it's not going to become – it's going to become really about what heroes you build at that point. But in the beginning, though, the first – like, you know, I'm going to say up to level 50, it's it's basically just you building your heroes to be stronger. That's it. You can beat most of these heroes I – mean, most of these bosses by just being strong. Um, and you're going to be like – you're going to fight one of these bosses. It's the first time, and you're going to be like, what the hell? Like, this is a boss? Like, what's the joke here? And you're going to be like, they always say this is hard. I'm like, yeah, well, it is. Watch what happens when you fight him the second time. <laughs> Everything changes the second time around. Um, and then really changes the third time around. Uh, arena. In tag team. You're going to want to leave a defense team like this. All right? That's, that's what you want. You want to get your ass handed to you every single day um, that you're not playing. Why do you want to do this? Because if you look at the tiers, all right, so even in these lower tiers, all right, you're going to get, you know, you get more gold bars per win, right? So I'm getting eight per win now, essentially. So I get 16, uh, sorry, eight per win. So what is that, 24, right, every time? So let's just go to the lowest, right? Let's just say you get 18 per fight, all right? You, if you win 10 fights every day, you get 180 bars, if you use your refill, you get 360 bars per day. Times seven, you're looking at around 20, what is it, 23 to 2,500 um, gold bars a week that you're going to be getting through this, okay? Now, if you're here, you would have to get, basically, you would have to get into gold, essentially. We'll call it this because you'll get more from every win. So in order to, to keep this, you would, you would get 2,300 in whatever this is. Now, the problem here is, though, is here you're going to be going up against teams. Some of these fights might take you, no joke, like three to 10 to even 15 minutes to beat. It just depends on the team you're fighting. And if you get a loss, you know, you're not going to get these, these uh, goal bars. So if you're losing a lot of fights, being up here doesn't help you. It really doesn't help you at all. Um, especially when there's a tournament where you're supposed to, you know, beat stuff in here. This could take up your whole day if you're trying to do it. Now, if this is the part of the game that you love and you enjoy this part and you like trying to figure out how to beat teams and which team, which hero beat who, then everything I just said is useless. Just do what you want. But if you're trying to be the most effective in the beginning of the game as you possibly can, just get your ass handed to you. Stay here. Get your 400 or 500 gold bars at the end of the week and get your 2,700. I mean, you're 2,300 or whatever it is, 2,500 from your wins every single day. And there you go. You get 3,000 a week. And that's enough to basically buy everything you pretty much need. Um, oh, look at that. See? Buy that. Um, 
And essentially, I'll usually buy one of these things at the end of the week. And that's it. So once I get the 400 in two days or three days, whatever it is, the reset, then I'll just buy the next thing. Um, if I end up getting a lot of, of gold bars, like say I miss one of these a day, if I miss a day on this, um, I'll just buy the skill tome and then ignore this for a day. But since I'm really trying to get this and I don't really have a lot of need for this rare skill book, uh, rare skill, the rare skill book right this second, then yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to focus on him. That's another thing to think about when to start saving these up. Because in the beginning, energy and books are the lifeblood of your account. First two, three months. Um, once you get out of that and you start moving a little bit higher, yeah, you're going to start wanting to get these. So now I started collecting him. Uh, another thing that most people don't do every every day, and when we're talking about collecting, is clan quests. I didn't know these were even here for like a month. I, I didn't know they were here at all, to be honest. I, for, I didn't know. I was like, what the hell is this? I'm like, how does everyone have clan gold? And now I know. You got to do quests. You can get 300 every week from doing the, the, the noob quests. And then if once you get to where I am, you can start doing these and get through 600 of these a week, which is more than enough to buy whatever you want in here. You can buy her every single week if you want. Once you get to, you know, if you can get 500 a week. Uh, some of these are easy in the beginning too, like fully upgrade and upgrade on an Epic Champion skills. <clears throat> I'm not saying that's an easy quest. What I am saying is, is that when you're first starting the game, you're going to be getting a lot of books from uh, quests from everything. So if you get this quest as 200 clan gold, I mean, if you're going to upgrade a hero anyway, then grab the quest and you can, you'll get a free 200. If you're like, this is if you're in this area, like if you're, if you're having trouble with, with expert quests, so you're in basic, look an expert before you accept any quest, because you might find something in here that you can do. Some of these aren't really set up for, um, for, um, are, I'm sorry. Some of these aren't really like hard for new players. Um, like place 100 increased defense defense buffs. Like that's easy. If you have an, an increased defense hero, if you have even if you have one or two of them, it's easier. Um, the best ones that are, that are here are speed because there's a lot of speed uh, increasing heroes or turn meter increasing heroes. There's High Katoon, There's there's Anointed. There's um, uh, Diabolus. There's you know everybody. Apothecary. Like there's so many of them. I don't know if I said Apothecary twice. If I did, uh, who cares? Uh, you can literally put one in each team, and then you can get 12 of these increased effect. You can get 12 increased speeds in one fight. So this is 10 fights. There's you got to figure out how to do things. Um, get an epic void champion. I mean, if you've got a hundred, if you've got 10 epic, uh, 10 void shards, and you want to chance this, that's up to you. I wouldn't do it, but if you want to chance it, uh, or if there's, you know, you can take this quest and try to try to get it uh upgrade three rank four is one there's one that i always see in here i don't know if it's someone probably took it there's one where you have to level up uh 10 no, sorry 20 level tw 22 star heroes to three star if you're in a champion training event or you're trying to build a hero up to six star grab it like grab that quest immediately and then just make sure you do it the way i said before leveling only the green the uncommon heroes to three star all right don't level the common ones because it's an uncommon quest. So those are quests that you can do in expert to get ex extra coins. Like don't don't skip this. I don't care even if it's basic. Who cares if you're only getting three hundred then and you're not really using them? Then save them. But do them. Like do these quests. This is super important. This clan shop is so good. Um, I mean these these here will get you a legendary hero. This will get you a legendary hero. You can get literally up to a what is this a hundred a thousand energy if you save up coins one week. So if you want to just save hoard coins. And when an event comes out, just come in here and buy up all the energy. You can do that. Um, you can buy these accessories, five to six star. You can get five to six star accessories without ever beating Spider. Like, that's a ridiculous deal. And they're revenge, which is even better. So that means you get a chance to counterattack. If you have all three of them on your hero, boom, 15% chance to counterattack. So don't think that this is, this, is not a, this is something that people overlook. So don't think that you shouldn't be doing it because it's very important that you do it. Ooh, mark it. See, every time I come in here and buy these, I, I literally don't ever miss one. And don't ever feel bad about buying heroes in here. Like if you're running low on shards and heroes and you're trying to get someone a six star and you got a decent amount of silver, just buy heroes in here. I wouldn't go crazy like doing it every single day because you'll just waste all your silver. But if you're low, it's fine. Just to get more shards. Like you can you level up maybe like three, two stars and hopefully you'll get some shards. Um, 
The other big thing, challenges, do all of these as quickly as you can. Mine are all done except for this one, which I've said in my other videos just because I'm focused on my other quest. This only gives me one legendary book, which I can't use now anyway, so that's why I didn't really give a crap about it. Uh, but yeah, do everything, everything else. All of this stuff needs to be done. You get tons of books, tons of shards, tons of things from there, gems, everything. Silver, all kinds of energy, actually. You get a ton of energy from those challenges. Um, there's a lot of these, like the leveling up things. Like you'll get like 75 energy like for each quest. So like this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one would like be like all energy. And then like this one will be like silver. Like, yeah, definitely do your challenges. Super important. And constantly follow the missions. That's the other thing. I And do it as quickly as you can in the first week and then move forward. Um, you want to be doing these missions every single day. It should be your only focus outside of leveling your heroes to 60. Boom. So, um, let's see. Any other tricks I, I employ? Um, the newer stuff is all stuff that I've probably talked about in my other videos. Um, once you're a little bit further along, I would say prepping is a big thing. Um, trying to keep your your vault clear of heroes you don't use and fill this up with heroes that you're leveling. Try to keep as many three-star heroes on hand as you possibly can. Because um, when an event pops up or when you have another hero you want to level, it's a lot less daunting to get a hero from five to six star. When you Look at this. I mean, I already have all these three stars here just sitting in my vault ready to be leveled. All right. So constantly, anytime you have nothing going on, like there's nothing to do. Like, all right. So let's just say we, we have nothing to do. Let's say there's no event going on and I'm just not doing spider. What am I going to do? You're going to literally just go to here, to here. And let's say that I'm on, here we go. We'll do the one that I said I was doing. So we'll go here. All right, we go to stage three because we're trying to farm Templar. We battle here and we get rid of this this chunk of monk. I don't even know what that means, chunk of monk. I just made that, that up. <laughs> uh, you'll pick three. I'm anal. Like all my other videos, I pick one of each, each type. You don't have to do that. Uh, each affinity, sorry, if you want to get technical. And we'd run it. And that's it. This is what you do. And then this is when you have nothing else better to do. And you just run this until they're maxed. And then you'll run the other heroes and max them out. And while you do this, you now have a chance of getting Templar. And if you've already pulled them, you have a chance of getting a skill book. So you want to, you want to farm these guys as soon as possible. Obviously, War Maiden and Spirit Host are more important. Uh, Valerie is way more important. And so is Conqueror. In the beginning, I would say Conqueror is one of the best heroes that I've had. Um, he fell off the wayside because I have a lot of other things I need. See? And you'll get, like, the higher up you go, you get more of these. You'll get, like, three of these from stage 12. Um, I think you can possibly get three here, too. So once you get into Brutal, you're going to get a lot of these shards. A lot. Um, you probably see a lot of people that play that have, like, 4,000 of them. Uh, replay. See? And you just literally, this is what I'll do when I have nothing better to do. You can put it on auto if you have all, like, the extra... What is it? The uh, auto battles. You just blow. Up. If you if you don't use your auto battles every day, you're you're messing up. Like just use your auto battle and go make a copy. Like that's what you should be doing here. Look at that. And they all die, and he gets stronger. Um, unfortunately, he's not in his old campaign farming set, so he's actually a little more susceptible to dying at this point when I do him because I'm not using him for my campaign farmer anymore. Um, here. I use, I use my girl now. I don't even know how she'll do in here. Let's see. Uh, actually, I can't do that. I have to do this because I have her set up. I forgot. We'll go here. Get rid of these guys. And then throw them in. Let's see how she does. Let's just see what she's about. One, two, three. Um, and the reason I do this is because you have to have her use her, her first skill every time. She can't use anything else. See? Because if she doesn't do that every time, she's going she's gonna to die. <laughs> you want her hitting everybody see boom campaign farmer that's why i use her now she's my new campaign farmer so she's set up more like a campaign farmer um and you just do this until they're maxed and that's it you'll get some heroes see you'll get some more heroes to level um boop. and hopefully you get your hero that you want that's it do that every day and then when you have other stuff going on you do that so that's why i have all these three star heroes all right it's because I just do that all day. <laughs> that's my that's my downtime. And then you start using your level everything to level 12. Um, I didn't do this in the beginning, but I highly recommend, unless it's a hero you like desperately need to beat something, um, and even then it's still arguable, never level a bunch of stuff to 16. 
um, until like like once you get to where I am. Not not back when you know in the beginning. Do it sixteen all the way because you're gonna need that power to get through. Um, but right now where I'm at, don't level anything to sixty ever sixteen ever. Get it all to fifteen. Wait for an artifact and enhancement event, and then just push them all to sixteen. It's literally the best way to do it, um, and it's easy. Like you, all you need is about ten to twelve pieces at level fifteen, and you get four thousand points. So, and most of the artifact enhancement events are about there. So, at least they are now. They used to be around two or three thousand. So, um, and then just level up the ones that you need to level up to get whatever you want in that event, and that's it. Eventually, this game becomes a waiting game. Like where I'm at now, I don't. I used to not wait. I used to do everything immediately because I needed to. Like I needed this guy to six star ascension. I needed her to six star ascension. I needed, you know, I needed it to get to beat things. Um, I needed to get all this up to level sixteen so that I could do the most damage possible in the beginning of the game. Now I don't need anything. Like I'm good. I'll need heroes to get through the next, you know, dungeon areas and to get to, to progress like that. But I can literally beat everything I need to beat at this point to where I'm at in the missions. And that's all that I care about. And that's all you should care about too. Don't try to punch above where you're at unless you ha unless there's something coming up where you'd like to get ahead of something. And that's fine. You can try it. You know, it never hurts to have like a day of like relaxation where you just, you know, try to start, try to see how far you can go in a dungeon. Who cares? Like what's it going to do if you if you miss one day of farming? It's not the end of the world. Um I mean I missed what was it two or three days in a row during a, a forge pass and I still I still got it. Uh and that's because I had, you know, it was Thanksgiving. <laughs> But yeah, and then the other thing is just don't worry about rare, common, mis ep epic, uncommon. Uh, well, common, forget that. There's a couple commons that are good, but not many. And not many that you're going to use in the beginning of the game either. But don't worry about the rarity. Don't worry about the rarity of heroes. Worry about what they bring to the table and what you're looking for. That's the only thing you should care about uh, is what the hero does and what you need him for. You want poisons, HP burns for clan boss. Find a hero that does it. Uh, that's why we love these two. If you need a hero that has a heal reduction for the the spirit potion keep or for fire knight, find a hero that does it. Like you know, she does that. That's why she's in my team. I have this. She does the heal reduction. Um, if you need an area of effect hitter so that you can kill spiders in the beginning, you know, you got Soulbond, you've got Warbane. I mean, almost every hero in here has an AOE except for my clan boss heroes because they don't need AOEs. They just they they need hits that do more damage and poison. Um, you know, you've got her. Don't sleep on these heroes, and don't waste your books on heroes that suck. Um, that's a big one. That's tough for a new person because you're gonna, you're probably gonna get sucked into it at least once or twice your first run through, um, unless you watch my videos, in which case you'll probably just build the heroes that I did because they're the best ones uh, at, at what they do. I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna argue with me that Frozen Banshee is one of is probably the best clan boss hero in the game. Not even just rares. Like she's one of the best in the game. So. There you go. Outside of uh, you know, unkillable teams aside, even then, she's still up there on top tier. So there are heroes that you can use that are better. I mean, this guy. turn He's the turn meter specialist. That's it. He's the best in the game, almost. Uh, I think there's like a couple of heroes that people would put above him. But because he only has one hit, one skill that always uh, reduces turn meter... He's like probably the best in the game. So don't think that just because they look they were a different color. <laughs> we're not colorist here. We like all colors. Purple, we like green, we like blue. All right? Uh, that's all of them. I mean, and other than that, here's the big thing that most people seem to forget when they're uh, just starting this game. And that's uh, anything I just said is horseshit if you're not having fun. That's, that's, that's how I want to end this video is whatever anybody tells you, whether it's me um, a content creator that's been around forever. Um, if you're not having fun playing this game, then it don't it don't freaking matter. Like it's not like you should follow everything I do to as a formula. If you like doing tag team arena every day and it's like it's like your your favorite thing to do. You're like I want to come home and drink hot cocoa and do tag team. Then yeah, then forget everything I said and do tag team all day and have fun and put your best defense in and go crazy. Um, it's the same thing. Like you know if you don't like if you hate doing these events, then don't freaking do them. Like, that's it. If there's something here you want, like, there's nothing that says you can't come in here and do an artifact enhance like I just did to get 50 energy. Literally, that's the only thing I wanted out of here. So that's what I did. I enhanced an artifact to 12 or whatever it was, and I got the, the 50 energy because I wanted energy. And I didn't have to spend gems to get it. So that's why I did it. 
I'm not spending, you know, another, I'm not going to do another 200 just to get these gems. I might, it might happen just out of randomness because I might get a piece of gear in the next, like, you know, whatever, eight hours that I can get it. But if you don't like these things, don't, don't freaking do them. There's nothing that says you have to do any of these events. Um, and the other thing is try to only do things, events that match up to things you're already doing. And this is like the biggest thing ever. If you're in here, like we got to the spider event, I needed accessories horribly bad. Like I have, I had like none left. There was, I have so many heroes that have no accessories. It's killing me right now. So the spider event and the dungeon divers event are now popped up at the exact same time. So I farmed the crap out of the spider on stage 10 and boom, look at this because I needed it. So now I already got all this. This is one day. We still have two days left. So I'll finish this very quickly, uh, probably tonight. So we're going to get this. I'm going to get all this crap here. I'm not trying to win it. All right. We don't need this number one spot, but get all these rewards. Get your gear that I'm already getting because I need I need accessories. So I farm it. And just so you know, farm level 10. I said this before, but farm level 10. It's the easiest. You get five-star gear easily, um, and it's an easy fight. So now I get points here, and I get points for Dungeon Divers for something I was already planning on doing anyway, and I needed it regardless. So don't, don't waste time by doing things when you don't need to be doing them. Don't skill level up a hero until there's a, a clan versus clan. Um, once you get your main team built, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be putting any books into any hero once you get to a certain point in the game, like probably like maybe I'll say two or three months in, unless there's a clan versus clan going on or an event where you need the points. All right. Stop doing that. <laughs> be patient. That's the biggest thing. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I think tomorrow we're going to have a little bit of a you know, more Christmassy type stuff going on. Um and yeah, that's really uh, it for everybody. It's a long. This was a longer video because uh, there's a lot to go over, and I didn't really have much going on in the game today. Uh, tomorrow we'll probably have a lot more going on, as far as you know things that I'll need to be doing. So yeah, that's it for all you, all the newer players, older players. I mean, there was a lot in this video. I mean, there's it's it's there's a lot to this game, even though it seems like there's not. Um, planning is important, and. If you want to know more about like builds and things like that, you can go to some, some of my older videos. I have plenty of things where you can watch to learn things. And also, if there's something you want to see or, you know, I mean, I, I get a few comments from some people here and there. But if, uh, you know, we're still a new channel, so there's nobody really watching. But um, if you have any questions, things you want to see, uh, you know, I don't care. If you want me to do a video on a dumb hero that you just want to know how good he is, you know, let me know. I'll probably, if I have him, I'll build him. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'll at least get him to 50. Let's put it that way before I uh, I build him to six star. So that's it. Uh, I'll probably see you guys all tomorrow. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you all for watching. Once again, Mobile Gamer Nerd out. Have a great night. Take care.